Good morning. Welcome back. Let's take a look at the wind speed. In life-threatening storm surge, the hurricane force wind. With max sustained winds of 110 it's miles an hour. It is getting stronger, and, and we will likely see this storm turn into a Category 3 uh, later on this afternoon. So the latest stats on the storm are 110 mile an hour winds, but uh, honestly, one of the big things that we're going to be taking a look at is just how much rain this thing is going to dump, because if it is going to take as long as it is projected to, and believe me, it's going to take a long time to make its way through the state of Florida, it's going to... That looks a lot more realistic. This uh, website's usually pretty accurate. Let's zoom back out a little bit. Let's see what the forecast says. Uh, Hurricane Dorian very closely. Hurricane Reconnaissance plane, they've been flying it throughout the morning. What they've seen is the pressure has actually been fluctuating in the storm, but they've also noticed uh, over the past uh, half an hour or so what we're actually seeing. Now's the time. you got to get those shutters up today. Absolutely, and I completely agree with him. No later than today, so you don't have to worry about it going into Saturday and Sunday when we are going to start to feel... Mm -hmm. Hurricane Dorian reached Category 3 intensity today. Forecasters consider that a major hurricane, and it will only get worse before it strikes early next week, likely as a Category 4. More than 20 million Americans could feel the storm's so impact. Sure to go all the from space show the hurricane clenching like a fist as it stalks the Bahamas. Georgia. Well, the latest is we yeah, just got an update from through. the National Hurricane Center that's, about an, an hour ago or so. There. And take a look at this. The storm, it's, it's getting stronger, okay? A perfectly formed eye right in the middle of that storm. You want to look for that, that perfectly round donut. Well, that's what we have as of right now. Take a look at the numbers as the National Hurricane Center is reporting. And, John, this is just in. It's no longer a Cat 3, now a Cat 4. For today... There you have it. Getting ready to make breakfast for the kiddo. Just figured I'd jump out here real quick and make another video. Keep everybody informed. If you live on the East Coast, I would definitely get prepared. I'm not saying go crazy, but I'd get prepared. A lot of the times the media just hypes it up. They make money off of your dollars being spent. Uh, good luck. I'll talk to you guys in a little while. If it does make landfall here, I do plan on giving you live updates from outside. Let's see how it goes. I got a lag kicking. I'm on Wi-Fi in my studio and the Wi-Fi is inside the house. I'll check back with you guys later.